hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to send an http request uh, using java and uh, read xml response so in my previous video i have shown you how to uh, read a json response same way so in this video i'll be showing how to read an xml response here we go so for testing we need an api actually which is returning me an xml response for some uh, http request so i'm uh, going to use uh, google map api so just uh, searching for google map api so it is basically uh, i'll be showing there are many google map apis i'll be using one of them to get the time zone uh, if i'm passing the coordinates of my location okay now uh, let me open google maps api uh, if you are not signed in it will ask for sign in so i have uh, signed in inside this one now uh, click on get started now as i told there are many apis here you can see web service api google google map geo uh, coding api google map distance metrics api i am not going to explain this all so i'll be going to google maps time zone api as i told so let me open this one as you can see here there is uh, uh, some code uh, this is the http request method and you can see they are saying like it will be returning uh, the time zone id and the day offset and row offset uh, this is the api which i told uh, this time zone api from uh, google maps api so we'll be using this one uh, to pass our http request and uh, get the xml response so uh, this is actually J json response we can make it by xml response also by passing here you can see yeah time zone this is json if you are putting uh, this as xml it will return uh, the xml response okay so we need basically the api key so to get the api key here it is the a button is the to get the api just click on the get api give a project name like uh, anything you want i'm giving it as api test and uh, agree the terms of use and just click on create and enable api so it will generate the api key for you now just wait for that yes it has generated the api key now copy the api key and let me open a new notepad and the paste api key here and done and now let's copy this link completely and uh, paste it here in our notepad and update this key completely in the request here okay and uh, put the response as xml yes we are all set now let's test this uh, uh, http request from the browser here it is if i am just pasting it it is returning me the uh, time zone of uh, the location coordinates given here this is the location coordinate and this belongs to the location of us okay we'll try another coordinates also okay now uh, let's go to uh, our eclipse if you don't have eclipse uh, i have given the link in the description you can uh, download and install it now go to new java project i'm going to uh, create a new java project so the name is test uh, http xml okay i'm giving like this click enter now inside the src i'm going to create a new package xml test whatever it is we can give anything and inside this one you have to create a class the class name i'm giving it as uh, test http xml again press enter here it is okay now let me copy paste the code for uh, sending in http request and read the uh, response whatever it is uh, if it is xml or json whatever it is i am uh, copying the code to do that let me create the method uh, public void uh, get response and inside this i am just uh, pasting uh, the code okay now this is the code uh, where you can provide your url and we have to import all these uh, first so just press control space is from java.net and url connection is also from uh, java.net buffer reader is uh, java io yes such is io same input stream reader is also from java.io yes it may throw uh, exception so we should give a try catch block copy all these come down here 
and let's print out the exception if any fine so let's uh, copy the url here so what we have the url is this one where we uh, have updated the api key also let me copy this paste it here so better understanding i'm just uh, giving a string value here like a string api key so let's update it here okay string api key is this one and uh, again string coordinates will be there and the format okay string coordinates and format so let me copy this format to this place and again the location coordinates okay so the coordinates uh, back to here and it should be as uh, with comma the land longitude and latitude okay we'll try and timestamp let it be the and the api key api key is here we don't need this API key is here okay fine let me copy paste uh, it manually so this is the api key he is here and the coordinates is here and the format is the xml okay now let's try uh, running this code and see the output what is coming in the console it should uh, get me uh, the same xml right here itself in the console okay let me try running this one is okay uh, we have not given a main method to run this so just quickly i'm giving a main method uh, i'm creating an object of this class to call that uh, method now check dot get response yes we are all set again now let's try run as and java application here we go the xml response has been print all the values which has been uh, printed here okay now what we have to do is uh, we have to pause it and uh, get each value separately so this is actually a string here so to convert the string to an a proper xml doc as doc uh, we have to do uh, we have to put some more code i'll be getting that code right here yes uh, this is the code this is actually from document build factory there are two methods sx parser and the document parser so i'm not going to explain the, uh, those two will uh, get in that get that in another video so quickly uh, let me import all uh, the things here just press control space is from org.w3.dom and uh, the same one from xml parsers the string reader it's from io and the input source is from io yes now the node list is from uh, org.w3c dom and same way element also is from uh, w3c dom okay okay now we have all set we have to uh, read the it by uh, a tag name so i'll be uh, showing that so here it is uh, we have uh, the time zone response so this is the first uh, tag name here so this is the time zone response is the tag name of our tag name so put it here and uh, we have the row offset put it here and i will give a, uh, a string here to get identify what is it and this is a basic xml parser okay so you can use it anywhere you want so dist of uh, offset is here and time zone is here and one more thing is the time zone name is there okay time zone name is the fine we are all set uh, to run this let me uh, comment this one to give the response as string now let's run it here it is so i have printed uh, the raw offset that uh this what is there dst offset and uh, time zone id and the time zone name so this is basically from uh, the coordinates here let's try another coordinate uh, let me go to the map uh, let me search for india google map so let me take any coordinates from india and uh, it should be 
so right here just select what is here it will give you uh, the coordinates copy this one perfectly and come back to our code now let me paste it here and let's try running this it should give me uh, the time zone of India Oops, there is an error we have made some mistake yes I found the error we have given a space here we don't need that space and now let's run again here we go the time zone time our uh, time zone ID and other information has been come here so let's uh, uh, try this one in browser also let's see again how it is let me get the URL here fine mm. copy it come to the browser now uh, paste in the URL here and let's see the output here it is so this is the XML output of that so hope you got this how to uh, run an HTTP request and uh, get the response uh, as uh, XML and uh, pass that XML response okay if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below uh, I'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my video I'll share all the source code in my description and uh, thanks for watching